this cute little guy. You look like a little squirrel. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Benny. There you are. <laughs> you do not look like a dog right now. I don't know what animal you look like. <laughs> but you're getting a haircut today, right? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a very cheerful start of a new vlog because as you guys can see, I am in my favorite place in the world and that would be driving in a car. So I'm just leaving my house now. I woke up this morning at like 7.15, which I really wanted to do. Sometimes when I'm at home, I sleep in because obviously there's not much for me to do here, but I have a facial appointment at 11 and I wanted to get up and get a quick workout in, get some healthy breakfast going, and pick up a coffee before I head off to my appointment. So we are checking all the things off the list. I did a 10, no, not a 10, a 12, 3.30 workout, and then some arm exercises, and I've just ordered my coffee, which is the new brown sugar, no, brown, no, cinnamon caramel shaken a I don't know. I think it's the nitro cold brew with like brown sugar. No, with cinnamon. <laughs> this is so bad. I just ordered this like 10 minutes ago and I cannot even remember the name, but I think it's cinnamon and caramel. And then there's like a nitro cold brew. I don't know with like cinnamon cream cold foam, but I will try that with you guys. I also did not adjust my mirrors before I started driving. So that's good. Um, so I'm going to pick that up and then head over to my facial appointment. The girl that's actually giving me the facial is one of my old gymnastics teammates. So I just thought that that was so funny when she reached out that I was like, this is going to be like a full circle moment. Um, I always wave to my neighbors and no one ever waves back at me. It's like kind of defeating sometimes. But yeah, so I'm really excited to go get a facial. I haven't had one since I went to Heyday in the city with Josh and I really love that facial. It's just like really pricey there. So we're gonna try one in the suburbs and see how this goes, but I'm gonna take you guys with me. But I'm just pulling into the Starbucks now, so I will get my coffee and we'll try that because I have some time before, oh my God, I forgot to put on my blinker before I turned that guy behind me. I was so not into that. <laughs> um, but I will try my coffee with you guys because I left at 10.15 and the place is only like 20 minutes away. My mom's claiming that it's a half an hour away, but um, it's like 20 minutes. So we have some time before I need to get in there for my facial and Starbucks is so crowded I guess because it's 9 20 on a Saturday I feel like the biggest idiot I went in and got my coffee this is the cinnamon caramel nitro cold brew with cinnamon cold foam and I didn't get the sprinkles on it because I've gotten sprinkles in my um caramel brulee latte and I hate them <laughs> so I don't hate them I just they like absorb the liquid and they just get like spongy and kind of gross um and I was like oh my gosh I picked this up so much later than I was supposed to but it really wasn't it said 10 19 wait is it 10 o'clock the clock on my car is wrong it's actually 10 30 now not 9 whatever I said before um, so I went in there and I was like, oh, I think I picked this up too late. Like all the ice cubes are melted. Can I get some like extra ice? And she's like, oh, that drink doesn't have ice in it. And I was like, she's like, it messes with like the chemistry of the ingredients. And I was like, I feel so stupid being like, can I get ice? Cause I think it all melted. Like it was just never in there. So it's very, very good considering the fact that I had a couple of cinnamon tragedies when I went to Jack's Coffee. Actually, it only happened once. Um, but when I went to Jack's Coffee and I had the cinnamon poured in there, it kind of turned me off of cinnamon for a while. Guys, I'm not even kidding. Vlogging in the suburbs, people stare at me like I'm an alien. I'm like, you must know what YouTube is. <laughs> I really like the flavor of this cinnamon. I feel like it's different than the other one at Jack's. I think because it's in the foam and then the syrup is a caramel cinnamon syrup. So 
really good. Maybe next time I'll just get like an iced latte and get this sort of syrup in it if they have it like readily available. I don't know if readily available is the right term, but like if they have it that you could just add into a drink that you already have. But I really like the flavor of it. I do think that I would like it better if there were ice cubes in it though. And she was like, oh, do you want me to put ice cubes in it? And I should have said yes, because I know how I am. And I know that if I get a cold coffee, I like having ice in it because it takes me 10 years to finish it. But overall, I think without the ice cubes, I would give it a seven out of 10. And I don't know why I got a grande. Um, my sister's calling me now. So I'm gonna get on the phone with her and start my journey over to the facialist. And we'll talk to you guys once I'm there. I have just pulled into the parking lot. I was going to a completely different location of the fountain spa than I thought I was. Um, so during like halfway through my drive, I was like, let me just put on the GPS so I could see what time I'm going to get there because it felt a lot closer than I thought. And it ended up having me make a left-hand turn, like maybe 200 feet later. And I was like, if I continued straight on, I definitely would have been late. I also need to take out my earrings, um, but I definitely would have been late. So it's a great thing that I ended up checking because the location that I thought I was going to was completely wrong so i'm gonna take a couple more sips of my coffee i want to get in there like five minutes early just so i have time to like go to the bathroom and stuff because i think a facial lasts about an hour so i will take you guys in with me and give you guys a full review slash like after this is what my skin looks like now i picked my entire cheek and a little bit over here this morning so i have like scarring from like past breakouts and then also just like um, redness for me picking, which was really not a smart thing to do. I also have a pimple right here that I picked last night. So we're not doing super well now. So I feel like having a good after is going to be pretty easy, but I'm excited because I don't know what type of facial I'm getting. So it's going to be kind of a surprise. And I feel like we're just going to do whatever my skin needs. And I just want to look really glowy and refreshed. I feel like I keep touching my hair in this vlog, but I am now a greasy, oily mess. So I guess that's a good reason for me to be able to touch my hair. But I just got out of my facial. We did a vitamin C kind of like brightening facial and my skin is looking so glowy. Um, we did a little bit of extraction, but not too much because of the way that I attacked my skin today. So we were working more on like healing and like dark spot correcting with the vitamin C as opposed to like doing a lot of extraction which is what I normally get my coffee is so cold I have no idea how I guess it was because it is basically in the shade in here but I am going to be going back they said to do four to six weeks which like I can't afford to get facials every four weeks but I think um maybe in six weeks I might come back for a hydro facial because I heard that they are like amazing and just like really good with like resurfacing, exfoliating, but then also hydrating your skin, which I feel like are two things that I really need is like the exfoliation because I get a lot of like clogged pores and like build up because the like surface of my skin isn't very, like it's a lot of like dead skin cells and like all dirt and grime and stuff from New York City, <laughs> from the New York City air. Um, but I think the retinol has been helping me a lot. I've noticed that like when I do pick my spots that they're healing in like two days because the retinol is helping like break down that like dead skin on the top and my skin's been looking better. I just have to stop touching it and I wish I gave that up for Lent, but I honestly don't think I would have been able to do it if I'm being honest. And speaking of Lent, I did not buy this coffee. I had a gift card. We're still trying to decide if we are considering that cheating or not but for right now for all intents and purposes it's not cheating because I needed to get a coffee on my way over here so um facial loved it was so relaxing they did um moisturization on like my hands and feet in like these heated like 
I don't know, moisture things, which was nice because I'm always freezing cold and like my hands and feet specifically are always cold. And yeah, so there was like a mask. I obviously inserted some clips. The esthetician was actually filming for her Instagram, which was really nice because then I could just get the content and share it with you guys. So really nice way to kind of start out my day. I mean, it's 12, 15 now. It's not necessarily the beginning of my day, but just really nice. I think that I'm going to make this a lot bigger of a priority in my like health journey is like getting up working out and then also doing things like this more periodically to really take care of my skin because you really only get one set of skin like I could buy so many blazers and so many like things for my wardrobe but I obviously like that is all disposable and like my skin is not so I feel like I need to shift my mindset a little bit when it comes to spending money so yeah this is going to be one of my priorities also just like shutting my phone off for an hour and just having some self-care was just the nicest experience ever so obviously it's very much of a privilege for me to be able to like go and afford to do something like this but um if you have something like similar that you can do in your like routine that will help you like shut off and just relax and enjoy like quietness then i highly recommend that because it just feels fantastic so we actually have wedding dress shopping today, which I did not even have the time to mention to you guys yet. I actually drove around to the wrong building at first. I was at the fitness building and some guy came out with a basketball and I was like, why do you have a basketball in the fountain spa? Like, that's just weird. And it was just because I was in the wrong place. So I had to drive all the way around and I ended up getting here at exactly 11. So it's a good thing I left kind of early because I had enough time to get my coffee and then also make that mistake when I was coming in. So I didn't have time to chat to you guys too much when I was in the car, but my older sister is going wedding dress shopping again today. She did find a dress last weekend, which you guys would have seen in my last video. And um, she loves it, but she just feels like it was such a small boutique and she really only tried on maybe around like seven dresses. And she does love this one and she could picture herself walking down the aisle. I think she just kind of wants to put her curiosity to rest so we are gonna go to a boutique in morristown today which i'm really excited for her appointment is at 3 p.m so in between that or in between this and her appointment i have to go home and take a bunch of pictures for poshmark because it's disgusting the amount of things that i have to get rid of so we need to go and tackle that job i doubt i'm gonna show it to you guys because it's just not very aesthetic of me it's like kind of insane the amount of things that i need to list so stay tuned for that on my poshmark a lot of it should probably already be up by the time this vlog goes live so i will link my poshmark in the description for you guys i'm doing a lot more spring stuff i kind of had that on the back burner because we were in the middle of winter and i was not imagining that anyone wanted to shop any spring stuff so i kind of waited for that and then now i'm gonna upload all of the spring things um there is someone getting out of the car next to me and they're just staring at me again so um let's head home and i will talk to you guys when i am getting ready for wedding dress shopping which like i might just wear my hair in a slick bun because this oil is really working for me <laughs> look at how handsome you look you look like a completely different dog from this morning. Let me feel how soft you are. Come here. Oh, that's a nice boy. <gasps> you look so great. Do you love your haircut? Oh my gosh, you guys, he was like so curly and like thick this morning and like had some knots and stuff and he just feels like an actual baby. Like this feels like puppy hair. Oh my goodness, do you love it? Ooh, they made your face look really cute. Sometimes they give him like an actual beard and I'm like, why? <laughs> why would anyone want their dog to look like that? But obviously subjective. And so you look great. I just can't even stand it. Do you think so too? I wish you could see yourself in a mirror. You guys have definitely seen this angle before, but I'm in a whole new bathroom. I actually think I've showed it to you on vlogs like so long ago but we're getting some really nice light out of this window. So I just have you propped up on the windowsill. I need to get one of those sticky things that you can attach your phone to, like to any surface basically. So on the mirror, when I'm vlogging in the bathroom, in my apartment, or cases like these where I could just stick you guys to the window and not have to like look down on you. I am painfully pale. So we're trying to fix that situation now. I have like a half an hour, I think, before we have to leave and I need to have lunch and get ready all in that amount of time so we're just doing some contour i also have these like pieces in my hair from the mask being on the 
outside of my face. So it's not dandruff. My mom just asked me that. So I figured I would let you guys know too, because you'll probably notice it. But I'm bronzing up my face with the Rare Beauty stick. I have the color Happy Soul and my sister just got it because she explained it really well. And I think I've said this too before when I've used it, but it blends out into like a very powdery texture. Like I'll do half of my face. So you guys can see how well it blends. But like, you can't even tell that it's there. The only thing is, is that my like perimeter of my face is a little bit darker, which is what I wanted because it just makes my overall complexion look darker without having to put product on my entire face. So I just do like the hollows of my cheekbones, my um, edge of my forehead, and I feel like I look so much tanner without it being like way too obvious because I feel like no matter what you do or no matter what product you use, if you try to go too dark, you're just gonna look orange. I feel like there are a lot of like cool toned products that I use that I love, but at the same time, it's just like if you put too much on, you put too much on. So we're being super gentle with that, but I feel like the product is good with, even if I put too much on, it blends out really, really nicely. So looking a little bit tanner, and the reason why I'm not putting it on my cheekbones or anything or like anywhere else on my face is because I normally put like other product in the other areas of my face. So like I have concealer on already. I'm gonna do some of the rose ink blush. This is the shade Camellia. It's really, really pretty. I think it's backwards when I show it to you guys. Um, but it's like this pinky color because I'm wearing my gray Zara bomber today. And I just basically always pick my blush based on my outfit, which is like such a personality trait of mine now. Blush is like my favorite makeup product and it better be considering the amount of blushes that I have. It's very strange because I'm someone who like doesn't really like to waste and I have like five blushes and I know I'm going to use every single one of them. So that's how you know that this is like my new thing that I love. And then if I want to ever add like extra pigment, I can put more on or I actually really like to pair the Westman Atelier blush with this color. I will just show you them together. First of all, both of these Okay, I just have like a dinosaur hand. <laughs> but both of these packagings are amazing. I almost said that they slay, but like I don't use the word slay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna start now. But the colors are very, very similar to one another. This one's a little bit darker, so if I put this on and I don't want to like add more, I'll just do like a little dot of the Westman Atelier just to bring a little bit more pigment to it. And honestly, like this is probably one of my favorite blush products I've had in a while. It like started with the um, Rose Ink blush. Okay, that scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> it started with the Rose Ink blush and then this one is like my next new favorite. And then I wanted to do some of my Say Beauty cause we're getting into like spring summer months and this is a really good product for that. It's the Sun Visor. But I think because I still have like the serum and stuff on my face from my facial that I'm just gonna like keep the natural glow. And then I was thinking of doing a little bit, I have like leftover bronzer on this brush, which is like kind of gross. I really need to clean it, but I'm just gonna bring that out a little bit because I learned that I might have like slightly hooded eyes. So a trick is to just let your eyeshadow kind of like go out the top there. By the way, there's um the Rare Beauty bronzer is on this brush. That's what I use to like kind of match my bronzer to the rest of my, or my eyeshadow to the rest of my face. I feel like I have a fuzz. Okay. And second to last thing that I'm going to do on camera is my, um, what is this, eyebrow product. And this is just, and I've been using this probably for the last few months. It's starting to get a little bit low, but I've used it actually every single day since I got it. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 7.5. And I like this product because it definitely fills in my brows without making them look way too dark. And I feel like they're even a little bit too dark. So I'll just take like my pinky and like rub it in a little and it'll blend out really nicely. Um, yeah, brows are definitely way darker than I wanted to. So just gonna throw on, oh, there's the fuzz. Nowhere near my lip, cool. So I'm going to do my mascara off camera and then get dressed and then we'll be heading out to the wedding boutique. As I mentioned, it's in Morristown, so it's a bit of a drive for us, but I have my coffee downstairs chilling with some ice cubes in it, which you're 
technically not supposed to do with a nitro cold brew, but it's getting a little bit warmer. So I wanted to make sure it's going to be cold enough for the journey. And I'm just going to apply my Lash Paradise and we'll be on our way. I think I'm just going to have leftover pizza for lunch, honestly, just like super low maintenance because we don't have too much time before we have to go. Benny, you look so nice like that. You love just sitting in your sissy's elbow in her little elbow crevice, right? We made it. <laughs> Do I look like a brown rat by hand? No, we're just waiting for Chloe to get back from getting get gas back. and then we're gonna go in and sign into her appointment, which we're super excited about. Maybe we'll show some more stuff if she's really getting the one from the first dress shop. No, I don't think she's gonna get it from there. She's gonna get it from here. All right, girls, let's give an outfit done. rundown since you're matching. Come on, come on. That's <laughs> twinning with my basket. Okay, Vanessa, where's your coat from? Oh, Mango, okay. obviously. I have to put my obviously. Away, that's where's your coat from? Um, It's a Bloomingdale's. So. Nice. What brand? Aqua. 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 Okay. Oh, They're sorry. Cashmere line. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> what is this little... <laughs> Chloe's on the phone still. So... Okay, what doing. about your underneath? <laughs> um, I have... <laughs> Embarrassingly. <laughs> I threw my just, phone in my purse. I forgot you were on there. You're not treating her like a bride at all. Very dismissive. I'm wearing a um, Aritzia. 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 My leggings are set active. They never wash out. So cool. I won't get rid of them. Socks are Hanes. That's and where I got my rec from. Oh, yeah. Shoes are the uh, New Balance 2002 R's, influenced by Jenna Evangelia, um, collab with App Bandier. What about your bag? Bag again, another Jenna Evangelia <laughs> purchase is from Amazon. It's that that good, good dupe no, for the uh, Bottega Veneta. Um, no, we don't do Amazon. Oh, here she is. Okay. Let's all wave to her. And mom's wearing Adidas Bye. sneakers. Bye. <laughs> I almost wore the same so, thing. Hi. Oh, same a thing? Yes. Like Vanessa and me? Hi. Hi. Look at, we're all like in a color. Jenna has it on Are too. Are we color blocking? Why, why, why we're just all wearing gray. Why did you in my hair are popping right now but we just got back from wedding dress shopping and my sister found her dress which was so fun and exciting and we also took a look at some bridesmaid dress styles possibly so that was really nice and just had a nice like lovely day it was a really nice experience um Nicole from say yes to the dress if anyone has watched that was the manager of the boutique so that was really fun to like see her in person it was kind of weird because we used to watch that show when we were younger and yeah it was just super nice a very like fun girly day which we very much enjoyed so happy that she found her dress but we just ordered thai food i don't know why this is so dark um but we just ordered thai food so we're having that for dinner we're just doing like a stay in kind of relaxing night i'm trying to make vanessa watch harry potter with me even though i just finished it last week it's like once we finish, it's time to start the cycle again. So <laughs> we'll see if she'll watch it with me, but we're just going to have a chill rest of our Saturday. And then tomorrow I have to tackle this huge mess behind me that I cannot believe that I just showed you guys. Good morning, everyone. I don't think I have spoken to you since I was in New Jersey. I don't know if you guys can hear me over me applying my dry shampoo, so we'll stop that. Um, but I don't think I've spoken to you since I was in New Jersey we just had a very routine Sunday. We went to church and then went to the diner afterwards, which was nice just to spend some extra time with my family before my sister and I ended up heading back on the train. And it's nice because she's moved out too. So I have a little train buddy when I travel back into the city, which is super nice because our schedules don't always line up as to like when we can both go home. Um, so we won't travel home together as much, but on the way back, we will probably always get on the train together, which is 
nice to not have a like solo journey. And then when I got back, I just went to Chinatown for dinner, which was so good. I go to Deluxe Greenbow. It's kind of terrible that I literally only go to one when there are so many to try, um, but that's just our favorite. So never had a bad experience there. If you guys are looking to visit Chinatown, they have the most amazing food. And then we just had a relaxing movie night. So I got up around seven this morning and the sun was up and shining. I got some stuff done for YouTube because I had a video go live this morning and then I signed on to work kind of early because I have a ton of emails to answer coming back from the weekend. And then I also have a training to give tomorrow in the New Jersey office. So this morning we didn't go to the gym. We're going to go after work and then I'm going to try to go tomorrow when I get back from this training because I am going to try to get to the office like super early and I'm not waking up at 5.30 to go to the gym. It's just not happening. I draw a line somewhere. So kind of a slower Monday morning and not waking up as early as I would like to, but we're kind of getting there. And then now I'm just taking kind of like a 10 minute break to get myself ready for the day. I am basically staying at home. The only thing I have to do is go and grab my laundry and the gym later. So without my coffee runs, I feel like I just don't get out as much, which is really terrible. I'm trying to convince my boyfriend just like if we wake up to go for a walk just around the neighborhood. It's not like I have to have coffee in order to do that. I think coffee is normally just a really good end goal. Like I have a to and from destination as opposed to just like walking around aimlessly, but the weather is getting so nice out in New York City. So I'm really excited for that. I feel like it's just a an automatic mood booster. And I know that I'm definitely going to be missing the coffee runs once it's starting to warm up. Because I think on Wednesday, it's supposed to be like 60 degrees and sunny, which it's going to be hard for me to resist. But I'm actually doing really well with that. Just to give you guys an update. I haven't bought a coffee out since I um, started Lent. So the only thing I have done was Amanda brought back a Maman coffee for me, if you guys saw that vlog. And then I did have a Starbucks gift card. So when I was home, I did get the cinnamon caramel latte, which I think I gave it a 7 out of 10 when I was talking to you guys. But as I was drinking it throughout the day, it's really like a 4. <laughs> I just honestly thought it was way too much flavor. And I am someone who loves a nice, sweet, like, probably overpowering coffee compared to the way that other people like it. And it was just way too much for me. So if you guys don't like sweet coffee or you don't really enjoy things that have like too much flavor, kind of like it overpowered the coffee. Like I couldn't even taste the coffee because of like the cinnamon cold foam and the pumps of cinnamon caramel or whatever the syrup was. It was just a lot. So I'm not going to get it again. Also because it just doesn't come with ice in it, which I don't really enjoy. I like to have ice in my coffee because it takes me forever to finish them. So <clears throat> Just thought I'd give you guys a little update on my review there. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a very chill work from home day. I'm about to make my at-home coffee. I stopped and got regular milk this morning because I tried... There's a fuzz in my eye. I think that's just part of it. Yeah. Um, I tried to make my coffee with almond milk on... Fr was it Friday? No, it was Thursday because I was giving the training. And I was like, let me just try this. And it wasn't that bad. Um, but then I had it again yesterday and I really did not like it. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm just not, I'm just not an almond milk girl. I'm not an oat milk girl. I think that oat milk tastes like oats. And I think that almond milk just doesn't taste like milk. I think it's way too sweet considering the fact that I already like to have different flavors and things in my coffee. I just feel like it, I need to have like milk and then my syrups to sweeten it, not the milk to sweeten it, if that makes sense. So I know there's going to be a ton of you. Who disagree and say that like dairy is terrible for you but i've never had an issue with it so i'm gonna ride this train out for as long as i can with all of the chemicals that america continues to put into our foods so that's fantastic um but yeah i went and grabbed some milk this morning so i can make a normal latte for myself and I feel like I kind of need like a little surge of energy. It's like 11 a.m. and I'm like a little bit sluggish. So I decided to just throw some dry shampoo in my hair, which like the stuff is actually a huge bottle. And 
there's no like white residue. If anything, there's like a little bit in this spot back here where I put a lot, but I was kind of used to the Baptiste brand in that it like fully creates a white cast the second that you put even like a little drop on. So I was spraying so much of it because I thought I wasn't getting any product out, but I was. And you can just see in that spot where I just put it that there's like so much more volume on this side of my head than there is on this side. And then I also had put it through like the top of my hair here. And like my hair looked like crap when I woke up this morning and now, and now I feel like I have a fresh blowout, which is crazy. So um, this is the hair for now. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I haven't really been putting heat on it, but I think Avery and I are gonna shoot again this week. I feel like it's been two weeks since we shot, which is crazy for us because we normally go like two or three times a week. So um, I'll probably curl it for then. But I'm trying to, number one, not do my tight bun when I'm at home. So I just kind of twirl it and throw it in a clip because I have like breakage here. Like you guys can see those pieces. They look like bangs, but they're like all the way back here. So they're definitely not supposed to be this short. And it's just because of me wearing my hair in a ponytail like right here to get it out of my face. And then also because of my bun or that's just my inclination. I'm not positive, but I'm just trying to do like softer, like less less tension hairstyles, if that makes sense. So this is what we're going for for today. Five minute makeup on and let's go make a coffee. Okay, you guys, admittedly, this Monday is a little bit more boring than I thought it was going to be. I am like swamped with work. So I'm in my lunch break right now and I am doing some styling for spring outfits. So I figured I would tack on some spring styling to the end of this vlog because I know I get a ton of requests for that. Actually, that's probably like the most request that I receive is to do my outfit styling for like shoots and just like inspo in general. So we have a couple looks. I already filmed two of them, so I'm gonna pop those back on for you guys so I can show you. But for this outfit that I have on here, this is the Zara tank top that was in my um, Zara haul that I had uploaded at the end of last week. And then we have my Nasty Gal blazer. This is a size four. It's very oversized. So if you guys are a little bit on the shorter side, I'm like five, I'm close to five eight. So I'm a little bit taller and I wanted it to be very oversized, but like naturally the shape of the blazer is already like super oversized. So you can go true to size or size down. Um, I think this is on, this is like always on sale. So I can link both of these things for you guys. And then also my pants. So these are just the Princess Polly Archer trousers. I have on my black Converse. And then my bag is my Polen Numero Un. I cannot wait to just be like very hands-free and carefree during the springtime with this bag. It's, it's been one of my favorites in my collection for a really long time now. And I kind of liked that this crossbody strap will draw the blazer in a little bit on the sides so that you can get some shape with it. So this is outfit number one. I also have my sunglasses lying around here somewhere, but they're just like plain black plastic frames. So yeah, this is outfit number one. I love like the little cropped detail and then this jacket, obviously when it's still a little bit chillier out in the spring, We'll add a little bit of warmth, but I think it looks really cool with the oversized um, trousers. Normally I try to do like balancing outfits where I will have like a tighter top and a more flowy bottom or vice versa. But for this outfit, I want it to go fully oversized and I feel like for spring, it just looks really cool and street style. I don't know why I just said street style with like a Southern accent and I just did it again. <laughs> okay, so for look number two, I kind of changed it up a little bit because I didn't love the shade of denim that I had on before. So I did keep on the Princess Polly Archer trousers on my on my shoes. On my feet, I would wear this pair of New Balances. These are the 997s. And I kind of wanted to tie together like the gray. So imagine this shoe on my foot. I know this is like the most lazy rundown ever, but I actually need to hop on to work in about 15 minutes. So I'm just running through this quickly with you. Um, my shirt underneath is from Cezanne. I am going to be buying this shirt in seven different colors. I love the material. The fit of it is absolutely amazing. This is the Max shirt, I believe. You can see that I also didn't like button it all the way down because I'm just wearing it underneath 
this cashmere sweater from Brass. And I love these colors together. I just think it's very nice and light for spring. And then for my bag, we are doing my Arquette bag. I hate that I keep bringing this up to you guys because it's not available in the United States, but for anyone who is watching who's international and you have Arquette in your region, then I can definitely link this for you guys. I'm also going to try to find a similar one because I found a brand that's actually based in New York City that has very like minimal bags like this. So I'm going to try to find something similar and I'm linking that for you guys. But this is the overall outfit, the bag obviously tying in the trousers, and then I have the gray sneakers to tie in the sweater. But I felt very Parisian and effortless in this outfit, especially now that we're moving out of jacket weather. I wanted to do a couple of outfits where I'm still wearing my knitwear from the winter and kind of carrying it into spring because that is just the lovely thing about having a capsule wardrobe is the versatility that you can get. So I'm gonna put on the last outfit. I can't even remember what it was, but figure that out. And then I'll show you guys the last one before we end off this vlog. Okay, so outfit number three, I'm kind of doing this interesting, I mean, it's not that interesting, it's all neutral colors, but I thought that it would be cool to kind of blend a bunch of like darker tones together to kind of create this look. So my sweater underneath is this wool sweater from H&M. I wear it all the time, but it's like three years old. So I will find a similar like crew neck style for you. And then I have the brushed wool blazer from H&M that was only available in stores this season, but NAKD or Naked Fashion has a very similar one. So I can um, put that one in the description for you guys. And then on the bottom, I'm wearing my Levi jeans. That's still, <laughs> these have to be like taken in slash like restitched in the crotch area just because they're so baggy. Um, but I was wearing them all morning with my cream cable knit that you guys saw me wearing earlier. And it's just very comfortable to wear like light, not light, wide leg, like baggy jeans when you're working from home. Cause I have this sort of like structured material. These don't have any stretch in them, which is nice. I kind of like that because it makes me feel a little bit more put together, especially if I'm at home. And then on the bottom, I decided to go with these cream New Balance sneakers because I have a lot of dark tones going on here. And in addition to my Amazon bag that I'm absolutely loving, I had uploaded, I wanna say my last video, but it wasn't my last video. It's my most recent uploaded vlog to this day. Um, but it was a couple vlogs ago that I shared this with you guys, but you have already been commenting and asking me about it. I've had a couple of DMs on my Instagram. So I love this bag so far. I used it to go to dinner the other night and I literally wanted to throw my Polaroid camera in here, like just because I could, because it fits so much. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be really cute with the blazer and because I have like a lot of different tones going on, just wanted to do a black bag. So Rumi actually found these sneakers in stock on a like regular website, like a retailer and not on a resale site. So I will link these depending on what sizes they have. And then I'll also link them from, where did I get them from? From Kicks Crew, which is where I actually purchased mine from. So if you wanna get those exact sneakers, then I will link this colorway. And then I'll also link the ones from the New Balance website that are just in different colorways that I absolutely love as well. So this is outfit number three. You can't really see my jeans because <laughs> they are like hanging off of my hips at this point and my sweater comes down so low, but yeah, we're just doing like gray slash black tones, which I thought looked really chic for spring and just trying to get a little bit more use out of my drabby colors in my <laughs> wardrobe because as soon as the weather warms up, I feel like I'm gonna want to start wearing like really light tones of color. And as you saw in the um, like light blue collared shirt that I was just wearing, but yeah, just getting our last wear. That is not to say that I won't be wearing black in spring. You can definitely, expect that and just like me continuing on with the neutrals for spring. So that will be the end of this vlog. I am just ending it off here because I know I have a ton to get done with work and I just have to like fully focus on that for the rest of the day and I have some editing to do tonight. So I know it's just gonna be a very chill rest of the day. I'm also helping my boyfriend pack up his apartment because he's actually moving out at the end of the month, which I'm so sad about, but we could talk about that in another vlog, um, he's actually moving back home for the next six months. So that will be a little bit of an adjustment. And yesterday we started like taking everything out of his dressers and like getting rid of stuff, which actually it's not even my stuff, but it felt really good to like, kind of like filter through and get rid of things that I know he's not gonna wear. 
Um, so I'll be doing that tonight as well. Just a classic little tangent to end off this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I hope to see you all soon.